this problem, uh, a rock is dropped from a bridge and it hits the water four and a half seconds later. It wants to know how high the bridge is. So we're looking for a displacement. Since it's vertical, I'm going to throw in a little subscript Y. Um, again, at this point, that subscript is optional. We're only dealing with up and down. Uh, the other number it gave us was this uh, four and a half second, or the only number, other num. Well, no, the only number it gave us was t equals four and a half seconds. Um, so it looks like just reading this real quick that they're asking for dy, and all they gave us was time. Well, that, that's not enough information. We have other information. It's just kind of hidden in the problem. You dropped a rock. Um, that means the acceleration is going to be equal to little g again. And so we know the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, and then I, I bolted it. In. Well, I didn't bolt it. I changed the color of drop to red just to stand out for us. Um, dropped is telling you that you did not throw it up or down. So your initial velocity is, is not unknown. It's 0 meters per second. So we can look at this, check the units, seconds, 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 meters, meters. Um, what did they not mention at all is VF. Again, you could take the time to find VF, do another calculation to get dy, but that's extra work. We'll just use the equation um, that doesn't have VF in it, which is going to be your d equals vit plus 1 half gt squared. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's see, so for this one, we were looking for D, so we leave that alone. We dropped it, so the VI is zero, so zero times, regardless of what that T is, it's zero. So you can just write zero. That is a zero. Uh, plus one half, negative 9.8, because gravity is always negative. Um, and then T squared, which we know, I keep doing that, is 4.5. Let me delete that. Uh, 4.5 seconds, so 4.5 squared. Uh, so this one we can type right into the calculator pops out the answer. Uh, your displacement, your vertical displacement is going to be a negative 99 meters. Um, so that what that is telling us is that it fell 99 meters. It was 99 meters below you. Now the question, this is a, uh, a language thing, how high is the bridge would imply that you would give your answer as a positive. Um, but we're not going to be that picky about it.